I'm Tim and I'm 35 years old. Started wearing glasses at the age of three. That was minus five doctors or close to that? Yeah, I was uh, left eye uh, minus 5.25 and uh, right eye was uh, 4.75 with a 0.75 cylinder. Okay. And what are you wearing right now? Right now I'm wearing 2.75. The contacts are 2.75 and those are plus 1.5 lenses that I use when, I, when I'm at the computer. And how did you start with the reductions? Did you have a supportive optometrist or did you buy online? How did you go about the first getting away from the minus five? No, no supportive optometrist. I read a bunch of uh, improvement reports on, on Antiopia and uh, watched a bunch of videos. And then I stumbled upon, there's an ebook that a guy put together, Cliff Blue, I believe. Is his yep. name. I read that as well. And I think in the ebook, he uh, suggests that you should reduce uh, 0 0.5 when you're over or as long as you're over three diopter and so I went and calculation a little bit and just ordered a pair of contacts I think yeah 4.5 I also wrote down the first uh, Snellen reading that I had with those and those were with the left eye uh, 2025 and with the right eye 2040 so I, I think it was pretty or a lot of or quite a lot of over prescription prescription in there as well. How long did it take you from the first ones to actually experience improvement? That went pretty quickly. Uh, I had a three weeks later, 14th of January, 2018, I had the, 20, the first 2020 reading on the Snellum. I am not really sure if I had discovered active focus by then, but I could see pretty, pretty well and I went and dropped to 4.0. So four diopters in both eyes. In that phase, like where did you start out? Like, like from an emotional context, skepticism, at what point did you go, okay, this is working? Like, where is that, that transition from where you started out to where you're into it? I think it's probably by the time when I first looked at the Snellen and I tried to always use the same lighting. I um, hung it somewhere on a, on a pretty large window, but the sun's usually coming inside that window so it's not shining on the snellum but it's more like in my face so to speak um so i always try to choose the same weather conditions to measure and when i i think when i looked at the snellum blinked and it just letters got sharper then i said well apparently there is something happening here i think when i went down from 4.5 to 4.0 and then saw the first improvement and i was pretty sure that this is working what was the motivation to make you go through all this trouble? I've been wearing glasses basically all my life. I'm a teacher, uh, a phys ed and English teacher. I'm in the, in the gym quite a, quite a while and when you sweat, and I'm a pretty active person as well. And every time you sweat, the glasses are in the way. You wake up at night and you wanna do something. You have to take care of your, your kid and you can't find anything. And uh, I really wanted to just open the eyes and be able to see without putting anything in my eye or in front of the eye. No LASIK, huh? Uh, not really, no. I mean, when I did all the reading in, in your website and found all the, yeah, the evidence that's basically telling everybody who reads a little bit that it's one of the greatest scams and also really dangerous, that was off the table basically immediately if I, I think I found one or two articles. Yeah, I didn't really think about it after I've read that. That's amazing, right? Like, it, it seems to me, and I'm just, I'm just genuinely saying this, as we're sharing this opinion, how people possibly get LASIK, if you just do one quick Google search, how much stuff there's out there that, that tells you about all the side effects and risks. This and lots of other full short-sighted podcast episodes available in the Back to 2020 member section, along with hundreds of pro topic videos I made over the years, access to a 90,000 plus monthly visits member forum, and tons of other resources to help you on your journey to get back to 2020.